Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about pagination. When we have a huge amount of the records in a table and we want to show these records on the single page, it's not possible to load all records in one shot. Okay? It will take more time to load all records in a page. So in this case, we use pagination and it will split our records into pages. Okay? Alright, so let's see how can we use pagination in Laravel 8. So for that, uh, just go to our database. So just open new tab and uh, okay, just open PHP my admin and just click on database Laravel 8 Pro DB and just open users table. Okay, so just click on browse. And you can see here inside this users table there is no any record. Okay, so first of all, let's insert uh, thousands of record in this table. Okay, so for inserting thousands of record here, I'm just going to use faker. Okay, so go to the project and just open cedar folder. So just go inside the database cedars and inside this just open database cedar.php file. All right, and uh, inside this files, first of all, just add here use faker slash factory as faker. Okay, and inside this uh, run method, uh, first of all, comment this, and here just add dollar faker is equal to faker colon colon create okay and now here just add for each and create a range so just write here range uh, let's say one two thousands okay as dollar index okay and inside this just write here db colon colon table add here the table name which is users okay and call the insert function so just write here insert and inside this function just pass the array and here just add name arrow chain dollar faker name okay comma and here just add the email dollar faker email okay without the space and for the password just write here password dollar oh, sorry use the bcrypt function so just write here bcrypt inside this just add the password let's say password is secret okay all right uh, now just use add here use illuminate support and facades and then db okay for this now save this file now run this theater so switch to the command prompt and here let's write here php artisan db colon seed okay now press enter all right now setting complete so let's check the users table so switch to the browser and here just refresh the page so just click on browse and you can see here the records okay you can see here the total thousand records 
all right okay now let's create a new controller so command prompt right here php artisan make colon controller and let's say controller name is pagination controller okay now press enter okay controller created now switch to the project and just open pagination controller so just go inside the app http controllers and uh, from here just open this one pagination controller okay and here just create a function so just write here public function uh, let's say function name is all users all right and here uh, just write here users is equal to user and just add the user model so just write here use app slash models slash user okay now just add here user then column column as in it okay and inside this just pass here the page size let's say 10 and uh, the return here return the view then just write here the view name let's say view name is users and compact inside this just pass here uh, this one okay users all right now save this file and uh, let's create this users first of all create route okay so just go to the web.php file uh, inside the route directory just open web.php and here let's create the route so just write here route get and URI let's say users controller name so just add here pagination controller okay and also add here pagination controller okay now just add here the colon colon class comma add here the function name okay so just copy this function name and paste here all right now save this file and now let's create this view so go inside the views directory so just open resources then views and here just create a new file users dot blade dot php okay and inside this uh, blade file let's add html5 boilerplate so just write exclamation sign and press tab and here just change the title users now add the bootstrap cdn so just go to the get bootstrap.com get started and just copy this CSS and paste here. Also copy the base CDN. So just paste here. Okay. Now save this file and uh, here just add a container. Just write here dot container inside this container create the row then column md12 okay and inside this let's create a table so just write here table and class class is table table dash script okay and inside this just add here uh, e head and inside this ER PT just add here 
this uh, id okay th id for heady which i had just used th okay so just write your id now copy this and paste here name and here just write the email all right and now the body dr dd inside this double curly bracket and just write here uh, first of all add here the for each okay so just write here for each directly at the rate for each dollar users as dollar user okay and inside this just add here here okay and here just write user arrow uh, id all right now copy this and paste here add here the name and here just add the email all right and after that table closing table just add here the pagination link so for that just add here the double curly bracket then users arrow links okay now save this file and all done so let's check so switch to the browser and just go to the url uh, first of all run the application so just write here php artisan sorry okay now press enter now it's running so here just type localhost 8000 users okay now press enter uh, app models user not found okay let's check all right add here the capital a okay app models users now save this file and let's check again refresh the page you can see here the table okay and here you can see here the pagination link previous and next okay if i click on next you can see here the next 10 records 11 to 20 and if I click again next you can see here 21 to 30 all right and if I click on previous link you can see here records okay we can also change the page size so for that just go to the generation controller and here just change the size uh, this time you can see the 10 record and let's add here the 20 okay now save this file and just refresh the page and you can see now 20 records okay in one page all right so in this way you can use pagination in laravel 8 so that's all about pagination so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.